Fantastic. Fantastic. Another beautiful testimonial. Um, fantastic. Really inspirational. Is Carlos in the house? Is Carlos in the house? Carlos! Carlos. I'd like to hear from you again. So, ladies and gentlemen, once again, this is a, a fundraiser for Occupy Fights Foreclosures. It's a benefit if you're interested in your t-shirts, the beverages. I know we have some silk screening going over here. A lot of fantastic things are being done by this organization. A lot of important things for the people and the homeowners. Do we have any homeowners here tonight that have been helped by Occupy Fights Foreclosures? Are there any homeowners here that have been helped by, can we please get a clap, please? Sir, I would like to hear some more inspiration from you. Tell us a little bit more. Can you give us a story about something that's happened and, and how, how you guys have happened? Well, we have so many stories because usually people come to us when there is no more hope. People come to us when they have tried attorneys, they have tried to go through the system, they have tried to do everything that they possibly know how, what to do. So they come to us usually when they have the sheriffs right at their door. And we have been very fortunate in to uh, have a lot of very knowledgeable people that have been able to look at documents, that have been able to look at the, the entire situation and fight back. I remember uh, a homeowner in particular, um, the Perez family, they came to us on a Sunday. The family, uh, the, actually the, the mother came to us crying, literally with tears in her eyes, saying the sheriffs are going to evict us tomorrow. And, you know, we decided to go ahead and help the family. She told me that she had t 10 children from two different marriages. And, you know, we said this is not right. Something has to be wrong here because th these are working people. We looked at their documents and we reached out to Occupy Anaheim and we basically put ourselves together, put our heads together and fought back. We uh, had a very strong opposition by U.S. Bank, one of the largest banks in, in the United States. But we knew that we were right because everything that we saw in the documents were fra was fraudulent. So we were able to fight back. Today the family is back in their home. They got a loan modification better than they even expected. Actually, the bank ended up buying back the loan from the investor. You know, banks can do whatever they want to do. They have the power to do it. They have the money to do it. But it's up to us to push back and to let them know that we are not going to allow families to be thrown to the streets. You know, we can tell you here tonight, home after home, family after family, that we have help. Not in all the families come to us under the same circumstances, but one thing we know is that if people are willing to fight back, we're willing to stand with them and fight with them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know that families are tired. They are fed up of seeing how banks get bailed out, see how everything, you know, is, is everything for them and, and nothing for us. And as long as the people stand together, as long as you and I say, you know, we had enough of this fraud, we, we want to fight back, I think we can win this. We've seen this with different families, we've seen this with government officials, when we uh, literally confront them and let them know that it's not acceptable for them to run for office and continue the same practices. We expect them to represent the people. Here in California, the crisis it has cost $650 billion. However, you saw how the Attorney General settled for $18 billion. Something is wrong with that picture. Something is definitely wrong with that picture. So we are not going to stand quiet. We are not going to be on the side. We are not going to just you know, roll over. We are going to fight back. So I want to thank each one of you, the, the bands that are donating their time, the talents, the artists that have come tonight to support us, and each one of you that have uh, taken a part in this, in tonight's event, want to say thank you because you encourage us to move forward and to fight back. Thank you. Yeah.